You know all those free-running games people play on their smartphones? Um, the Maze Runner, Temple Run, Vector 1 and 2? Well, this game, 3D World Runner, is kind of one of the grandfathers of all those games. It's a game where you perpetually run forward in a mock 3D world. It's not really a 3D world, all the models are 2D, but the game's just like Grid constantly moving and all the models moving towards the character, also the way the character moves, kind of makes it seem 3D. It's, I guess, a mock 3D world. The game is basically perpetually running forward, collecting stars, avoiding obstacles and enemies at the end of every stage, there's this flying snake boss that you can defeat in combat. You get this gun, and you can basically shoot the snake. You can also sometimes shoot enemies as you run before the boss, but you don't get an automatic gun for that. You need to uh, pick up power-ups for this type of shooting. While it plays like a free-running game, there was no such thing as free-running games back in the 80s. This was basically an on-rails shooter back then, even though it's mostly running and very little shooting. To me, this game is like a 3D Mario world. This is what I imagined Mario would look like in 3D if they in fact made a 3D Mario in the 80s. The music and the graphics are pretty decent, but what's really underrated in this game is the controls. It's very rare for a Nintendo game to have really tight controls. I mean, some of the best Nintendo games have controls that aren't that good. NES games are plagued with controls where you're sliding after running, where you can't control your jump in mid-air, which a lot of times means you will fall to your death instead of making it onto the next obstacle. In this game, the jumping and moving controls are almost pitch perfect. You can control your jump in mid-air, you can slow down to make shorter jumps, you can run faster to make longer jumps, and of course you have free range to move left and right, and during boss fights, you can also float, so you can move in any direction on the screen. This is not a beloved game, which is really strange to me, because it's a very unique game, it's really fun, and the difficulty is just right to enjoy it. While not a universally beloved classic, 3D World Runner is a beloved classic in my heart. It gets an official Stan Birdman rating of an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, goodbye my friends.